This is the reuse committee of the Department of Public Works, May 29th, 2014. I'm John Sass, I'm chairing this. So, we are approving the minutes from May 1st. There are copies of the minutes there in the middle of the table for those who have not seen them. There we go. Okay. <laughs> Any comments? They're so extensive that I just automatically think they must be <laughs> well, Mostly about the reuse center, and some of it's been dated, so it's come and gone. Motion to approve? Uh, I'll make that motion. Second. Discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Very nice. Uh, okay, we're going to do uh, updates on uh, the events. You want to go over the May ones that have happened? Yes, we have, uh, let's see. Let go. Uh, the third was the bulky rigid plastics. Bulky rigid plastics. Diana or John, you want to? I just pulled up my page of notes that has, uh, I thought we could use a broom. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I think, could we have like a, a folder for each event and then we can just have, we have like a folder a, for each oh, event. Okay, great. Yep. And so, uh, we can, so I would add a little list of things okay. that you might want from them. Okay. I don't know if you want so to do that or not. Okay, well, well you can just send it to me. Let me yeah, tell, tell the group. But <coughs> Water, glove, sunscreen, and a broom were the things I thought I water? recommended to people. Drink Drinking. water? Yeah, for volunteers. <coughs> um, and end of day disposal is still an issue, but maybe not so much with the reuse center. What's the end of End of the day, um, mm -hmm. when stuff is still good and usable and yeah. nobody's taking it. Um, what do you do with it? I put a bunch of stuff out on my front lawn and it went away <laughs> within the weekend, but um, we didn't have, we didn't call Salvation Army because of the anti-gay stuff that they have and we had other places lined up, but they didn't, we didn't follow through with it, like it, it just didn't quite gel. So, so you're, you're concerned that there was still usable stuff that ended up getting recycled correct. that you think people would have liked to have had? Right. Yeah. That's where we're going to have you reuse that. Right, exactly. <laughs> I think it'll be less mm -hmm. of an issue in the future. Just, but, but just to comment that a lot of stuff was taken. Absolutely. Oh, People yeah. were waiting Absolutely. around, and as stuff came in, it was taken. So there yeah. was a lot, but it you're right. Very yeah. Successful. Yeah. At mm -hmm. the end, there were things that it was too bad that we had to yeah. recycle. Not a lot, though. You're Not right. A lot. It was. It was. Uh, plus plus. So, so I think John, you had said that you had probably you we had a 40 foot a 40 cubic yard roll off and you said you probably gave away about two roll offs oh. worth you think so <coughs> yeah. more or less yeah wow cool yeah stuff was, it was great. very <laughs> impressive people were taking things a lot like big as they were coming right yeah it's yeah. like the pot the pot exchange mm -hmm. yeah that happened that, yeah the next week that exact same thing happened yeah, yeah. so you want to move on to that one anything else for the bulky rigid plastics? Um, the pots were great. Um, boy, I tell you, I don't know how many pots. Um, Smith Boat itself brought in a dump truck full of pots. Oh, really? That were almost all gone by the end of the day. People were just taking things. Who, who brought it uh, in? Smith Boat had their own stuff, you know, plus all the things that people brought. Um, again, we filled up, we didn't fill up a dumpster. We had probably half a dumpster at the end. Mostly broken pots. Yes, yeah. Not even. Maybe not even that much. Yeah. You had um, how much at the end? Less than half. A less than half a dumpster. Yeah. But a lot, a large percentage was taken during the, the day, and people appreciated it. it was and very all the way nice. to the end too. People were coming at the last minute and taking yeah. stuff. So how much do you think <coughs> had been taken? Do you think uh, a, a whole roll off's worth had been taken? Close, or yeah, I'd say half? absolutely. I'd say a dumpster's worth. That had to be. It was amazing. I mean, people brought things that weren't even planters or pots that we took because it was such a popular thing. We had a, um, a crock pot. <laughs> someone took it. He said, oh, this is a nice planter. I said, okay. <laughs> it was great. The roots for them. Yeah, right. Yeah. That's great. Yeah, it was good. That's great. Good. Most of the stuff we threw away, too, was it couldn't be recycled. It was the crinkly stuff. The crinkly. Uh-huh. Yeah. And Smithville and took that. 
They no. took that back. They took the trash? They took the okay. trash, yeah. Oh. Yeah, one of the things that that is helpful to tell people when they bring stuff that we can't really accept is that this is a zero waste event and we're not mm -hmm. generating trash at this mm -hmm. event, so can you please take it home? And it occurred to me that that's going to be a really good message for the recenter as well. Mm -hmm. That we, um, that, you know, it's a nice, nice way of saying we're, you know, that might be trash and we can't take it. Right. It may be a nice sign to put up. Yeah. Event. Absolutely. Just have it all. Absolutely. So the hazardous household waste event happened the next day, and we were terrified that it was going to be pouring all day long, and it, it was a beautiful day. It was <laughs> fabulous. It went quite well. Last year we'd had problems with traffic flow, and I think we, we solved those problems. We had a couple other challenges, but for the most part it went very well. There was a fellow who brought, who called, he was actually not from Northampton, who called and brought a can of 1940 um, fungicide from Bayer Corporation of the aspirin fame, and it was uh, organic mercury-based. Wow. And so when I, I had to call ahead to find out how much it was going to cost, it was not going to be included in the normal type of waste that they would accept, so there was going to be an additional fee that this man was going to have to pay because he was not from Northampton. And it, uh, the first price was that was quoted was $300. Oh, wow. And then he came, called me back and he said because it was organic mercury, they could not extract the mercury and dispose of the rest. You know, they couldn't extract the mercury for reuse and then dispose of the rest. And it was going to have to be incinerated at a special incineration facility. And it was going to be $500. Wow. So I thought for sure this guy from Orange was going to say, oh, I'll take care of it some other yeah. way. Right. And he is now my environmental hero. He uh -huh. brought a cashier's check. And he said, I know this stuff is really nasty. And I know the people who bought my parents' property will probably just throw it in the back, um, on the back 40. And um, it, it wasn't from his parents. It was from the previous owners before his parents owned it. And so he brought a cashier's check, God wow. bless him, That's great. for $500, and they took the stuff. Wow. Oh, we, we should make a story <laughs> out of that. I, I, I tell you, I was, I was just so impressed. So then mm -hmm. he had gone online and researched it, and he sent me a link. Someone in Arkansas was selling it as a... As a um, collectible relic, <laughs> uh, the, and he said he claimed the can was three quarters full. Now, now this the Clean Harbors people said, tell this guy to wear multiple layers of gloves when he touches the can, mm. Mm. and and yet in Arkansas mm. somebody's selling a can of this stuff for twenty five dollars. Then mm. and he says it's mostly full. Yeah, so it, so it was it was I, it was just a, a a distracting story, but it was just like such a a powerful mm -hmm. story. I mean, it's like there's a lot of nasty stuff out there, so, and some so people are responsible. How does it work, work when someone from outside of Northampton wants to bring something to the Northampton? They need to call me, and they have either their community has to pay for it, or they have to pay for it. So other people can come to the Northampton. Yes, especially um, that's we're. We've always been open to that in Northampton, and we're likely going to be more so because the Department of Environmental Protection has a, a new program, and if you are part of a consortium where you welcome people from other communities and allow them to come to your events, I would love to you see that expand, because I think it puts a lot of pressure on people to keep their hazardous waste around for a year. Mm -hmm. right. They had multiple opportunities. Well, there year. is a place in Sutton, Massachusetts that's open year-round. That's great. Where is Sutton, Massachusetts? Yeah. I mean, yeah. that's, right. who's going right. to go to Sutton, Massachusetts? Right. South of Worcester. You know, yeah. So it's, it's going to, it's going to be, give people more opportunities to take care of it. You know, the other thing that people don't understand is that once you've collected hazardous waste, it's more dangerous than if you have a small amount in your household. So even if you have to keep it around for another year, it's safer than keeping it somewhere. And there are lots of rules and regulations of, around how long a, a, um, it can be kept. And um, what so, are the rules around organic? Mercury? I mean, how long it can be kept in a collected place? Oh, you know, so so municipality can't keep it collected for any period of time, and they're not even supposed to collect it unless they have certain circumstances. Rob, what um, when a uh, when hazardous waste happens, mm -hmm. a school the school usually supports it, or do, does a BPW, I mean DPW, um, run it? 
run we, the collection process. Oh, we run the collection. Yeah. Okay. Yep. So is there an economies of scale that would decrease if we had it more than once a year? Uh, no, because there's a setup fee and there's a minimum minimum charge, and, and the setup fee is usually included in that minimum charge. So you need to you need to have a, a critical mass of people that are coming for them to make their profit margin and pay for their labor expenses. So there so, is. So yeah, the issue is, is that if you had it more often, then it, it would be it's an expensive event. It's, it's, an, it's an expensive event. Yeah. yeah. How much? Absolutely. Oh well. Five to seven thousand um, dollars. You know, some communities have had two in the past. I think I don't know if Northampton ever had two. South Hadley has always had two, but with their landfill closing, they've gone to one. So it's 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 an expensive endeavor. And who pay? And does the consumer typically pay? the community pays for their own residence? And, and and the the theory behind that in part is to because we want to keep our waterways and um, and aquifers mm -hmm. clean and so we want to encourage people to bring stuff if you come from another community either your community pays or you have to pay individually right but it's your community pay. how does how does your you well, the board say public, I, I mean the dpw paid <coughs> for all northampton leeds florence residents right so, so yeah. you and hatfield would go to your hatfield to dpw and say i have this thing i want to take it to northampton and their your dpw would pay right well That's what you're saying it depends on the, it depends on the, the municipality some yeah. municipalities pay some mm. do not some say you know you're on your own okay. so it depends Dave? But, um but we pay by the car load that's that the state contract for all hazardous waste handlers the way it is framed is that you either pay by the barrel of hazardous waste or you pay by the car load or ha household or half household and that's defined by um, a household's worth is either 25 pounds or 25 gallons and then the next step down is 10 pounds or 10 gallons and in the past those were the two price structures so even if you had one bottle you got charged for 10 pounds or 10 gallons so it's it's a, so it's I, a complicated I thing. I do a collection for all of Round Hill neighborhood, so that we minimize the number of cars coming from. So you save neighborhood. a lot of money. So we I'll do do the same thing when I move to my new neighborhood, and when people come to like the rigid plastics event, which was the week before, I told them how the hazardous waste mm -hmm. was charged, and that I encouraged them to carpool with other right, people in the right. neighborhood. Mm -hmm. And I think we. Are, are we allowed to do a better job of oh, absolutely. encouraging in that? Fact, in, absolutely. Well, we should fact, really do more about that education. It, it, you know, the problem is there are the, the risks of dealing with hazardous waste. So even if it's your neighbor's waste, some people are really uncomfortable with taking sure. somebody else's waste because they don't know what if it, it is, you know, an unmarked can, who knows what's mm -hmm. in there. Um, but but absolutely, people, we can do a better job, you know, helping out our families and neighbors and just consolidating the car loads. So what I do is, I, when people say, yes, they have something mm -hmm. they want to give me, I ask them what it is because, you know, the biggest mm -hmm. problem is most people don't know what qualifies as hazardous waste. Mm -hmm. So they say paint, I ask them if it's oil-based or latex-based. Mm -hmm. So you want to do a little uh, vetting before yeah. people mm -hmm. drop things off. And even with that, people just drop things off like photocopier, you know, printing, cartridge, which has nothing to do with household hazardous waste, they Jim. Um, <laughs> And uh, so there is that. There is a little having to bring back things right. to people's homes. Right. Yeah, mm -hmm. I had I had a friend who had um, smoke detectors, which said they were hazardous. They said they were mm -hmm. radioactive right. on them, and so she was worried about them. And mm -hmm. she sent them with me to the hazardous waste, and they said they don't take them. They don't take them well, because of the if we if we gather them all together, they're more hazardous than if you distribute them. Mm -hmm. Well, not not only that, but the the they're contracted. The hazardous waste handler that the hazmat people are only contracted to take certain types of things. So there are uh, they can take other things if they can contain them properly at the event. But there will be additional charges. So with with smoke detectors, there are other ways to dispose of them. That's just not something that they they're equipped to handle. So. Yeah. How, we, how, what are the other ways it's supposed to be? Well, we, I mean, yeah. uh, I, the, the, <clears throat> unfortunately, Besides sending them back to the it's not as clear cut. Yeah, mm -hmm. I mean, it's sending them back to the manufacturer is best. You can, you can, uh, there's information in the, we go pretty in depth into it um, in the reduce, reuse, recycle guide. Okay. If you read that, uh, sending, we're hope, 
people are really pushing for producer responsibility with those. There's a very small amount of radioactive <coughs> material, um, Americum something, I think it's called, but it is a small amount. So, mm -hmm. so they say you can throw them away, it's not a big deal, but, you know, um, some people, you know, feel differently. So, Anything else about that yeah, event? Yeah, let's... That event? It's, it's an you? exciting topic, yeah. but... <laughs> we need to move on. So anything else about that event? No. Okay. Uh, the next one is in the fall. Are we done with all our spring? We're done with we're all done. of our spring events. So we're talking about the October one? Is that Hallelujah. The... Mm. Is there anything in September? Uh, no. No, nothing in September. So October. And then October, you want to give an update? I need to know that with the dates um, set with Smith folks. So okay. I need to know if they've gotten back to you about the he had not gotten back to me on Tuesday but we'll yeah. make it happen today yeah yeah okay and, you know so. I can walk over there and talk to him too yeah. then yeah. we're talking about the fourth <laughs> no no not the fourth the 18th yes yeah, so oh, gotcha. yeah so the so <clears throat> Debbie and Peter are looking at moving the date to the 18th of December of no, October October, October yeah sure. let me just double check that um, um, Peter has something to say. What, were you, what, what do you need to say? <coughs> because we ran into the not having a rain yeah, date. The 18th. Sorry. Last event. Yeah. <coughs> and I feel that's really mm -hmm. important. Um, and because of the booking of Smith Folk, I would like to go ahead with the date <coughs> proposed for the tag sale be the 11th, with the backup date, the rain date being the 18th, because they will be there anyway. Yeah, I don't know if I, I need to talk to Smith Boat to yeah. see if that's something that they will be willing to do. Well, I'm happy to go with you on that. Mm -hmm. <coughs> um, if we can work it's that just out. Their, it, it, it's just it's a matter of is it their policy or not. Mm -hmm. right. you know. Well, otherwise we just don't have a way of doing a registration fee which is non-refundable. If, you know, if so I'm trying to get people to, to A, commit to it. Mm -hmm. <coughs> that's the first thing rather than just putting a name in but then actually showing up. So the original date was what? The original date was the 11th. 11th, okay. And then the, so we could go ahead with the tags, the community tag sale swap mm -hmm. meet that, and then have the rain date advertised for the following Saturday, which is when Deb would be having her thing anyway, and <clears throat> so we would already have Smith go. But you're proposing two events one yes. week apart? Yeah. Yes. That seems like we have done that and thought it was not such a great idea. Well, this is outdoor event, and, and, and why an couldn't you? Event. Why couldn't you just have it on the 18th? Well, what if it rains you want, again? If it yeah. rains again, we're more clear that there is, you know. Uh -huh. I, I mean, we we did it this time. Mm -hmm. They're they're going to get in free next time. We can't control Mother Nature. If there's a, uh, you're talking about doing the arts event indoors. Yes. Would there be room to move? No, vendors that, indoors? No. no. Okay. No, that's impossible. That was another just impossible. Takes quarters and all okay. Yeah. David? What was the issue of having two events a week apart? It's a lot of work publicity wise and it's a, it's just um, Well but I thought the whole idea is that we have different coordinators working on these events so that you don't run Right, into but the coordinators don't handle the publicity. I, I guess for me it was really onerous. Um, Diana felt that it was boom 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 as well and she's doing stuff with emailing and uh, email lists and and Facebook as well so it's a lot to ha we, we happen to have three or four events almost right. in a row yeah um, between was, April we had late April first week of May <laughs> second week of May and then fourth you know third weekend so it was just it was really crazy and if we can avoid that I would like to in the future and I think Diana feels the same I was, way I was supporting that idea yeah. but uh, I'm, I don't feel hard. Mm -hmm. I, I'm, I'm not going to take a firm stand on that. Mm -hmm. if, if it's something mm -hmm. that it's really, there's no other way. What about having the rain date for the next weekend? Like ideally have it on mm -hmm. the same day and then if it mm -hmm. has to move. That's what, that's what I mean. But no, you were saying, no. you were saying no. not to schedule it initially on the same day. Schedule it for two weeks. Yeah. Uh, well, side then, by side then, and then we run into what the Smith folk have booked for that next event well, right. I mean well, that next weekend right. which uh, we, know, we know we yeah. know what we got booked on the 18th if I that's, see uh -huh. and therefore by it's indoor space 
I mean, if we get it, what I'm <coughs> obviously you know this already. I'm asking for indoor space, mm -hmm. and I'm asking for the possibility of the gym so that we have more space. Right. So there are a couple of questions about that. Yeah. Sort of I, I mean, I had a little hesitation about having them both on the same day anyway. So personally, <coughs> I'm, I'm okay with having them separate. They, but but we can talk about this forever. It's not going to get us anywhere right. until we know what yeah. Smith's policy right. is. So I, I, I suggest right. we say, let's find out what the rain day yeah. possibilities are and, yeah. and take it from there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I would say that I don't think they're symbiotic. The crowd that comes for the, oh. you know, is not going to come you know, Maybe not. or something more expensive, if you will. You know, mm -hmm. Well, let's. So, so is everyone okay with the possibility of having on two different weekends? Sure. And and um, we will find out what's possible at Smith Oak. Mm -hmm. Okay. Uh, there are there other events? We know about the toy swap. Well, again? let me just say a little oh. bit about that okay. one. So, oh. if we have it in the gym, the gym is real big. We can have more artists and more workshops and just you know spread out more the last time it was really crunched in that room it was too crunched in those two rooms i think or three rooms that we had so so there's there's space and there are more possibilities for activities and maybe some sort of food thing and there are a couple of entities that i'm thinking about coordinating with i don't know whether anybody went to captain jack over in east Hampton had a i didn't go but he oh. is per he's he did. Oh, you did. Yeah. Okay. Now, where, are they, today. okay. where are they located? They're on Route 10. By no, no, I know Jack, but where are they permanently? Oh. Is there any permanent space with them? No, there's no permanent space. Uh -huh. well, can we stick with, up. let's stick with yes. Yes. those So two. anyway, I wanted to see with him, but that also depends on whether everybody else thinks that's a good idea. I, I had a conversation with Burns Maxey at uh, East Hampton Arts and last night and and so there there's some things we could cook up in coordination and we'll have more space even if we have the cafeteria that's more space than what we had before so we'll have the depot which um, the art depot that is the donations and the wish list and the costume that, that oh, I mac see. Mm -hmm. right and then the costume exchange and then artists doing some workshops and the artists I mean, I'm thinking, I'm mm. saying it in another room, if it's the cafeteria, it's <laughs> filling up really fast. But, you know, we'll see. We'll see what we've got and what we've got space for. And a fashion so, show at the end of it. Uh, yes, and a fashion <laughs> show. Yes, and a fashion show. At the that end. you all will be, you know. Yes, and you are all the models. Where, where is the gym? Oh, it's a kind of across the parking oh, lot. Oh, right. When they have... Yeah. It's I a really nice space. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. So Anything that's, else? That's all I have to say. Okay. November... We have a, a reuse rally, and I'm looking at my notes, and John had said that he would coordinate that one. It's going to be similar to okay. the Bulky Ridge of Class. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, what day is that? Uh, it's November 15th. Uh, John, I think I, I, had you and I are doing it together. Oh, boy. Okay. <laughs> so it, it was, let's Oh, yeah, see, I wrote that down. Bulky Ridge of Plastic, um, Styrofoam, and Paper Shredding. Oh, and yeah. that was going to be November 15th. Mm -hmm. December date has been moved. We are now at December, uh, it's, it's the following week. I think it's December 12th, maybe. And that's because of the steam sale swap and the senior center was not available on the same day as the steam sale swap, unfortunately. So we're going to be a week later. So the 13th. And, yeah, is it 13th? 13th. Right. And oh, we yeah, will be at Smith Boat. Oh, I wrote it down already. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We'll get to the And do we have a coordinator for that? Um, I said I would coordinate, and Jessica said she would do it with me. I don't, you know, I'm not sure. I have to check back mm -hmm. with her at this point mm -hmm. about her status. Okay. Oh, what's Anything? the date of the November? 15th. 15th. 11-15. Anything else on the events? No. Okay, we're moving on to the meetings. And I mean, you have to discuss this recenter project plan. I guess right. it's all connected. Right. Uh, so I'm wondering if maybe Ro or Mac or Debbie or Peter can do a brief overview of the Board of Public Works meetings that we had, so that we can brief, uh, brief, so that we can um, take every, get everyone else up to speed. Can I'd like to hear the Board of Public Works side mm -hmm. this much. Um, well, David can do it too. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. Well, I. The, there, there are seem, it seems as though there's tremendous progress, and, and, and uh, I, I, I think the meeting at the, at the recenter mm -hmm. was, was a demonstration of 
everybody going in the yeah. same direction. There, there were no discussions about who pays for this, who pays for that, mm -hmm. or who does it. And, and you know, it's not a concrete plan yet. But can I pass around the report? I don't know if everybody's seen it or not. I need it back, but it was. I very have some nice. extra copies. Yeah. Oh yeah. It's very nice. So this is both the 14th and last night's meeting. The, the two of them uh, well, about. I was referring oh, yes. to the meeting at the uh, mm. at Glendale. Who was that? At, at, that was the uh, the one that the report is about. Right. Yeah. It depends right. the email. Right. Right. David Pomerantz, uh, the Central Services. Mm -hmm. I mean, he's one of the, the key people, and and Ned from uh, DPW was there, and, and the electric city electrician, and you know, quite a. A small group of people, but everybody was pointed in the same direction. Mm -hmm. There seemed to be nothing but a feeling of <coughs> cooperation, mm -hmm. and 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 usually they're you know they're jurisdictional mm -hmm. questions. And none of that has emerged at, at this point. It's encouraging. Um, mm -hmm. Here's some extra copies of what Ro uh, has sent around. To. Thank you. And there was also the list. The, 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 of the, things that, that, that needed back? to be done. Which yes. was email. <coughs> yes, it was part of the pictures. Uh -huh. yeah, it's on the all. other side. Okay. Oh, oh, that's oh. the original. I'm sorry. That's no, that's original. mine. It's, oh, that's yeah. oh, that's Rose. Okay, send it back. But so okay. and and but the list uh, is seems to be an excellent list. I think mm -hmm. you did that. Mm -hmm. Well, so I did it based on the notes from our meeting. Right, but, but even so, it's it's a good piece of work. Uh, Good. And uh, so everybody sees right. mm -hmm. the, right. that we're focused on the same mm -hmm. detail. Mm -hmm. So I would have two things to add to that. First, Diana, mm -hmm. your cookies were a huge <laughs> <laughs> And I don't know if you've heard, but you contributed to the flooding effort in the Church Street, <laughs> Street, <laughs> Street era, era. Thanks to... to um, it was a very emotional meeting. It was I, very I whipped yeah. out the cookies and I said, these were to spread the love in and you guys need some love in right now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And it was true, and it was good. And it was the spirit as much as anything. And then the second thing is, specifically, um, day, uh, Nate, uh, hmm. Ned has a call into David from Pomerantz. Central Services. Pomerantz. Pomerantz. Pomerantz from Central Services. And he's waiting for a call back from him. So that's the status. To And that would let everybody know what the um, next steps are how much they're willing to contribute or do or, or and whether we need to get the building inspector involved which would then give us more detail on the next steps well the plant we need a bit uh, what do you call it a permit if we need a permit I, I thought that was well we do need a permit need the question is do we need a plan in order to get the to permit, get the permit right. or can we just get the permit for the work <clears throat> I think that that yeah. was the big question yeah um, when when David Pomerantz was out there with David and Ned and David Valletta and um, some of his other people, um, some of the central services people the, that day, we spoke about what kind of volunteer talent we had. And I said that we did have a carpenter that was uh, involved with us that could, you know, might be able to help lend his skills. Uh, unfortunately, um, and that's Ben Goldberg. Mm -hmm. Um, I did get an email from him just this morning or last night that it's not a very happy email for me to receive. So I don't know, some of you know him um, better than I do, but he said, um, sorry, let me go. We're, in theory, are, is volunteer uh, assistance accepted? That's yes, well, so, so they, so David Pomeran suggested that we have volunteers do the tear out. So pull down all, you know, we can wear masks, you know, uh, face masks and gloves and pull out all the insulation and, you know, get all the garbage out of there that's in there so that, and then potentially even knock down some of the flimsy walls and pull that out. Um, it'd be good anger therapy. So uh, if we can do that, then it makes it. M then he can send his people in. The, the problem is this time of year, it's all about getting the schools ready for next season. So this summer is busy for central services. So um, they said that it's probably about a day's worth or so of work uh, 
for for a skilled you know group of a uh, small group of skilled people to go in there. So if we can do the tear out and do that stuff, then it reduces the amount of time that they would have to do it. So uh, I you know I said that there, we had a carpenter. I don't know what Ben's uh, carpentry skills are. Uh, but I said that you know we potentially had someone that might be able to help with some of the framing and stuff too, um, and uh, so I think David Pomeranz was really excited about that concept, and then his people just could come in and finish finish it off and do the electrical work. So Ben sent me an email this morning, and he said I will be out working out of town the next few days. I'm really not sure I'm the best con candidate for serving on the committee. I'm out of town a lot and have a lot of projects going on at once. Plus, I'm not even a local resident. Um, if you think it would be useful, I'm happy to remain on the list and contribute my thoughts. But it's clear this group is, has very much has it very much together without them. So <laughs> while that's a nice compliment, it's like, no, Ben, we need did you. Him, did you I ask haven't him spoken specifically to him. about like how did you get that email? Did you ask him if he could do? He was just work? responding to the email that I sent to everybody. Else. Oh, okay. All right. Yeah. Because so, he said that he didn't want to sit on weekly meetings uh -huh. to me. He okay. said that he felt like the people who were sitting on those weekly mm -hmm. meetings had everything uh -huh. that he had thought about. Okay. I, I had encouraged him to come because of his previous experience trying to get a recenter going. Right. Mm -hmm. And he felt like that was covered. He okay. didn't feel like he needed to contribute that way. But I think maybe a one day of carpentry mm -hmm. okay. is a possibility. Still. Good. Excellent. But he is busy and he's out of town a lot, so it's right. a scheduling issue. Right. So I will call him and check in with him, but it, it one of the things that came up after the meeting yesterday was it would be really great to create a skill bank uh, we've got volunteers on our email lists. We've got potentially people from Facebook, and we have people we all know that that might be willing to chip in. So if we can f make a list of the types of skills that we're looking for mm -hmm. right now and start sending that out and, and collecting names of people who can help out, I think that would be really good. We, we're going to need people who are going to be willing to paint. We're going to need people, um, you know, and and the you know the mightier the army, the faster the job can get done. Too many cooks. So do we have? Well, you have a, you have a chef. From yesterday's meeting, There's do we have a plan like a assigned tasks that people are working on these questions that seem to be up in the air, like the permit question? Yeah. Is well, someone we, uh, working on that? Ned is what we agreed to is that the board of public war. I mean that uh, there would be a DPW contact person. Right now, it's Ned is a contact person, and he may decide to appoint someone else as a contact person as soon as he gets the first phone call from David Pomerant. Is that what you understood? Right. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. yeah. The yeah. other things with the uh, us being able to work there might be a need for a waiver and I'm still waiting. Right, yeah. The, the, the there might be, I mean, that? just a, like a liability waiver, mm -hmm. you know, um, not, you know, that mm -hmm. in case, you know, somebody gets a cut and, you know, <laughs> yeah, or something yeah. like that. I mean, you know, we're going to be safe. We're not going to hopefully have any issues like that, but the, the city likely will feel the need to have us sign something. Okay, so on John's theme, who who is going to be telling us we need it or we don't? Well, I think this well, is going to come out of Ned's discussion. Out of Ned's 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 Ned has actually already initiated discussion with, uh, I think it's somebody in the finance department that, that he spoke to about the waiver. Roger? Uh, I can think of a couple people who I would love to get in there for the demo and maybe even, even volunteer. Excellent. As they're one's a handyman and those carpenters. So I'm sure their skills would mm -hmm. be helpful. The question is, what do I tell them? Who, okay, who so contact? so here's the there are two a couple things. The, um, one thing that we need to do is create a press release about the, the event and uh, about the the center and what we're looking for and what it's going to be. Um, and then once we have that, it's an easy thing that we can create, change into a flyer and a, just a, a, an mm -hmm. informational sheet. So when we're talking to people, we can say, this is what we're doing. You know, this is a Board of Public Works project and with the DPW and this is a community based. And so when we're looking for donations and, and assistance, you know, we'll have that. The other thing uh, is that I recommend that the working group meet either today if possible or sometime before Tuesday so that we can start fleshing out a, a plan of what types of things can be done and when. Um, for instance, there's a side room that's that doesn't have lighting right now, but once we clean that out, that can be painted tomorrow. You know, we don't have to wait for some of the stuff. So there's there's various things that can be done in, in the space 
that we don't have to wait, you know, right. that can be done now. So if we can um, efficiently use our time, we can make stuff happen quickly. The other thing that came up after the meeting yesterday was if there is a delay, if they require a bit a plan mm -hmm. in order to get the permit, um, and it's going to take a long time for that to happen, or if we have to hire a contract out, which Ned said would really slow the process down, mm -hmm. we should think about having a plan B, which would be what we would do for this year. Mm -hmm. You know, so maybe maybe it just is maybe it, it's going to take too long to do all this stuff. And maybe we should just purchase some greenhouse plastic and line the inside of that room and have you know some temporary lighting so that we can open by mm -hmm. July fifteenth. Mm -hmm. I mean, if it, you know, so having kind of a fallback plan if, if these things get delayed too much mm -hmm. might be a good thing um, because I think there's a lot of momentum to make this happen, and it's really only going to be if we open. July or August, we're only going to have two or three months, which is only like six times. Mm -hmm. So, we, you know, t um, it's better to start things moving and and then maybe do the construction in mm -hmm. October mm -hmm. or November. Right. So, well, oh, sorry. I think one question that kept occurring to me is, can we go in there now? and start cleaning up. Is there any safety reason why we can't do that? Yeah, so so I see two things um, the, the critical. One is what the situation is with the permit and the plan, and mm -hmm. the second is what the situation is for volunteers getting in there. Mm -hmm. Once we have those two answer, mm -hmm. questions answered, we can start moving. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry, Ro, you well, had your hand up. No, I was just going to say, we're, you've already made, we've already made huge progress. And just to keep going on, that's all of this. We don't always know what the answer's in. We don't know what, what's around the next curve, but we're so much farther along. I mean, I'm just so thrilled where we're going. And those bi-weekly meetings you guys have had have been fabulous, so great. Another point that when you mentioned that when you went out to the site with mm -hmm. the group and you asked the folks out there how much time would it take to actually do all these tasks, they said a day or two. Mm -hmm. Basically, they to say, do yeah. all these changes. Right. So we're not right. talking about, you know. It sounds like a lot, but it's not. With with skilled people, mm -hmm. it's not going to take long. Right. A according to Dave Palmer. Mm -hmm. So that's where if we have it ready to go. Right. Which again gets back to the we need a waiver, not waiver. Right. Let's right. Yeah. I will find out about the waiver thing, and I'll find out how soon we can get in there. And then if, if the working group can can put their heads together either sometime today or some other time, it would be good to start fleshing out a list of what we can start working on now. Other things on the plan? This is what we're talking about, Rob? So I was just thinking this is such a good plan and I was just wondering if we wanted to add more details. This is, just, this is a great start. This is maybe impossible, but who, when, how much it might cost. So just you've got this start of the um, the items, and then just adding that bit of detail, it just helps us to think it yes. all through. Mm -hmm. Right. Mm -hmm. And so we may not be able to fill it all in, mm -hmm. but it's like the idea that we need to know if we need to come up with money for that, or sure. who will be doing right. the money for sure. that, right. and who will be doing it, and uh, a, a, you know that lineup of date. Like you can't paint. You can't install a commercial light, light fixture until you disconnect mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and isolate right. the electrical. Mm -hmm. right. mm -hmm. yeah. David, um, I completely forgot what I was going to say. Oh, so so uh, um, one of the things is that I've been kind of hesitant to to publicize this because until we got the final go, and mm -hmm. uh, mostly because it's been publicized twice before there have been two other press releases and then nothing happened so I wanted to make sure this was a definite go and I, I feel like we haven't received from the board I mean we've received enthusiasm but not all systems go no all systems it, are all go systems it are just go. depends okay. on the specifics of it don't you oh. think yeah I, okay I, I so feel, so we can send out a press yes, release the all systems are go no, no I don't think we should send out no. until we solve the, the question mm -hmm. of the permit okay uh, and, and a liability waiver, maybe okay. they're hand in hand. But I think that that's just something we don't have any 
answer okay, or till we know or what even more a about the permit uh, and the right. yeah <coughs> okay because okay. it's you know the food Ned has that the, answer hmm? Ned has the answer to that or no, we all have no it's okay. the city hall okay. But the board oh. is totally behind it, but it's <coughs> just the logistics of it that Ned yes. has to follow through right. and set up. Okay. Mac, you were going to say something? I was going to just say, and so with, with the material needs here, the plywood and, and all that that's, that's listed, is, would that be something that central services, when they do their evaluation of it, that they, they would be responsible for purchasing or purchasing or somehow acquiring those materials or I mean well I assume that that would be part of the budget that the BPW has has created that, that the you know so it doesn't really matter who buys it whether they buy it or we buy it it's going to be you know there's there's money budgeted to so pay for it. there'll be probably a purchasing protocol that will have to be followed in and it's possible we can get stuff donated. You know, mm -hmm. I haven't called thinking, the I haven't called yeah. the yeah, um, local <laughs> building bargains yet, but there's I, I don't know what kind of resources they might be able to help mm -hmm. us with. Mm -hmm. yeah. So there's um, and and once we have um, something that we can present to people, saying this is about yes. the recenter, which is mm -hmm. going to be opening. They blah blah blah. It's going to be located here. Um, if we have something like this that we can present to right builders or you know other places, there mm -hmm. might be donations that yeah. they can give us. So and sponsorship. And, and yeah, Roger? I had to get that in there. Huh? <laughs> <laughs> well, yeah, I was thinking that, but uh, it'd be nice to have ideas for sizes because Eco Building doesn't carry everything all the time. Right. Like, different size materials. Right. So if we had mm -hmm. a plan, you know, it's, it's, you know, prints for. Uh, the specific types yeah. of wooden material that we right. needed, mm -hmm. if they wanted to work with us, they could put it inside of right. Right. Mm -hmm. yeah. <coughs> yeah. It would, I can, I can say right now, I mean, uh, um, Ben was our kind of ace in the hole, and I, I hope that he's willing to help out. It would be, it's based on yesterday's meeting, it would be great to have somebody who would be like a project lead for this construction yeah. piece mm -hmm. right, right. that that could represent this group mm -hmm. in some mm -hmm. fashion or, or somehow report to this group because I don't have the skills and and it would be you know it'd be nice to have somebody that could be in charge of that so if you know people who might be willing to uh, just kind of be uh, you know uh, I, I just think a project lead I mean th that knows what needs to happen and and con yeah like a contractor type mm -hmm. person right. Um, so we're, you know, that would be great if I'm we could sure get we can find that. Great. Okay. Are you being sarcastic? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> I'm a little optimistic. I'm happy to check with Carl Smith and get the trolley building mm -hmm. estimate, see mm -hmm. if he's interested. He's sort of backing out mm -hmm. <coughs> into a time and totally know all that. And Roger, you said you might know I got people? several people oh. I know who are, you know, who are, would possibly be interested. Right. It's not a huge project. Yeah. A handyman, a handyman would be perfect because they yeah. could mm -hmm. do with the plumbing. And well, and and all it, or it, he, he wouldn't even necessarily demo. do the plumbing, but, yeah, he, but would he would know need to know what it needs to happen and when and sure. the sequence. And yeah. I mean, yeah. it would be great if we get a contract who would just say, you know what, I'm just going to bring my crew in for a day. Oh, boy. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know? That would be great. Well, so yeah. if we're all going to go start talking to different people, how are we going to? Yeah. Well, we're we, we're going to talk about it at, at the next working group meeting and right. and create a, a list of what we're looking for skills we're, we need right. and then we can and then we need to do a, a a bank you know everyone talk to people give us names let me know who's who, you know what types of things they'd be interested in doing uh -huh. who might be a potential to be a con you know a, a mm -hmm. contractor type um, position right so you're asking people just tentatively yeah. are tentatively, you interested we, right. we're Without looking right. for this yeah. you know yeah. can you help yeah. Yeah. Right. Okay, other things for the plan? Are we there? Um, one last thing is that the last point on here is that when it's all done, we need an independent architect or an engineer to mm -hmm. sign off and say that it's structurally sound or whatever. Mm -hmm. So I, I don't know. That's another thing to ask. That's another about. skill. Yeah. Thing contract is kind of a part of the that. permit question. Yeah. Yeah. Both. Mm -hmm. Do we need a permit and who, who has to yes. be the official yes. approver? I think right. we do need a right. permit. Yes. Yeah, right. That's clear. Yeah, right. that's clear. We need but, a permit. But, but the requirements to get a permit yeah. and, and, yeah. the, and the requirements to sign off at, at the end. Mm -hmm. I think yeah, someone said last night that that could be waived. If, yes. Under certain circumstances. The plan yeah. could be waived. Peter? I don't yeah. know Jim, Jim Hosberg would be able to waive it. 
Okay. He's the building inspector. Louis. Louis. Louis, Louis sorry. Right. Louis. Yeah. Okay. Louis right. so. so, that's it? Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. We're going to talk about branding then and publicity? Yeah. Um, Diana, you want to? Yeah. Uh, I think the, the one main question that I have been coming up with, we have a lot of things that I would love to do with branding. Debbie and I talked a little bit about mm -hmm. just being consistent with our the colors that we use and the font type that we use and you know just having something that looks like it's ours when we put it out no matter what kind of event it is but the other thing that was more immediate to me was how do we spell reuse how do we spell recenter mm -hmm. is it all capital letters is it r capital r small e capital u is it hyphenated like mm -hmm. i feel like we need a consistent way of sure. just doing that one yes. bit it, we, we had talked not, about not it a little bit yeah. We talked about it a little bit when we met at Debbie's house. Oh, good. And um, I all so believed in the hyphen. We, we endorsed the hyphen at that point. <laughs> okay. <laughs> the capital U, I, I'm not sure we talked about it. Well, I don't remember the hyphen. Let me just draw a little right now. I think I, what, I what I remember was the capital R, yeah. E, capital C, enter. You know what I mean? Like yeah. re center, but I don't remember the. Oh, I write in hyphens. I think what we, we yeah, talked about the hyphen in regards to reuse, not re Oh, reuse. Yeah. The reuse committee should have a hyphen when the, we talk the about The word it. reuse um, uh -huh. should have a capital R, E, and then a hyphen, and then possibly a capital U. I don't uh -huh. remember if we discussed that yeah. or not. Is, 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 is this something we we're going to speak to a graphic hyphen? designer about? Yeah, I think we should. Oh, I thought that, that, <laughs> I have a design background. Yeah. Oh, so yeah. that you yeah. are the graphic yeah. designer. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I talked to um, the, the word nerd about it too, and she said, whatever you want to do. I mean, if you mm -hmm. decide that's what you're, that's how you do it, that's how it is. Yeah. You just want to be consistent. Not, yeah, yeah, I just think we should be consistent. I might like all of that. Yeah, we're talking about the hyphen though. No. You guys, you guys Great idea. Like the hyphen. And the sooner the better. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I think that's cool. <clears throat> You've been using recenter, no hyphen, which actually I've been using recenter with no hyphen, which but, I kind but of the like capital C. Yeah. Easy. Yeah. It's easy. I think okay. reuse is I more like meaningful than recenter. Well, recenter is the name of our enterprise. It includes a lot more than just reuse. It's redistribution. So, so, so Dana, what are you looking for? Uh, a vote? I, mean, I guess, yeah. Or it, I wasn't sure if it had been discussed before or anybody else thought about it. No, I think this is a good time we should do um, it. And does it matter whether we talk about reuse events or reuse committee? Well, I mean, the reuse event is a kind of a generic thing, right? Unless it's the reuse committee reused event, which in case we capitalize it. I mean, you know, a reuse That's event. What, yeah. Or, yeah, it's kind of, yeah. I, I feel like I would do a reuse event like that. Mm -hmm. And I might do the reuse committee like that, or with the hyphen, or I don't know mm -hmm. how we yeah, would do this. Without the hyphen, reuse just looks funny. R E U S E. Oh, looks oh, like the first name. I like it. Yeah, yeah I really? prefer it without. Yeah. yeah. You well, there's co-op and co-op with the hyphen. Yeah. Coop without it. I know. I don't, Okay, I mean, you get yeah, much, as so. long as we're consistent, I guess you get yeah. used to it. Right. Yeah. 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 You're right about that. I thought the re part was the most important so I've been thinking about a, a, a logo that would okay so I think right, that supports think. the hyphen do we all do, do you, is that what we're saying I don't even know what we're deciding what are we deciding here <laughs> which we one we're going to do what consistently do we use that all which one of those is we going to use and do we do it differently in different circumstances and I heard Susan say that that re, the recenter might incorporate reuse did I hear you say that? All, all of the reads. Yeah. yeah. So that do we need one over two different votes here? Okay. But but they you th it makes sense that they be similar, right? Mm -hmm. If we use a yes, hyphen, yes. we use a hyphen. If yes. we don't, we don't. Yes. I mean, yes. I, I, mean I, um, I think that that if if we get in touch with a graphic designer, they mm -hmm. might have some some feelings about that, especially with the recenter piece. Mm -hmm. So I might recommend that we stick with what we've been doing for recenter at least, which is no hyphen, until okay. we get a logo or something, and then we might change things. But okay. everything so far has been, when we talk about the recenter, everything so far has been spelled that way. 
This way. Uh, that way. Yep. When with we the, talk about the capital Center, C. With the capital C. Okay. So if, if you guys are okay with that, maybe we mm -hmm. should go with that until we have an official yeah. logo. Yeah. 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 And then and not flip flop and change mm -hmm. around. Mm -hmm. Because mm -hmm. we don't. So it would be the Reeves Committee? Mm -hmm. Sure. The capital yes. U? Yes. Yes. Nobody's okay with that? Yeah. Sure. Okay. Yeah, that's consistent. So no hyphen either way. Right. Okay. It's already in my phone. I don't have to change all this. Branding. So. And colors? Um, <laughs> what, what do you think? We don't about? have to do that I'm right now. <laughs> you know, when, you when Debbie and I talked about it a little bit, we were looking at the website, the new Northampton website, and saying maybe we should use those colors just to keep it a Northampton uh, mm -hmm. official thing. Blue and gold. What so colors is that? Blue and green and three colors. Blue, green, and gold. I think. Right. The, the, in advertising, if you notice all the big brands, <coughs> the, the three colors that stand out most to humans is <laughs> yellow, red, and the bright blue. So when you look at, you know, Target, I mean, you look at all the uh -huh. major brands, yeah. they all use one or all oh. of those of those colors. Okay. So I, that, that doesn't mean that we have to, but it's just kind of a point of... There you go. No problems. Yes. No you got green. that? No browns. Yeah, a good okay, nice. so publicity? It's our mission. Are we, are we starting that? Publicity, yeah. well, we talked about that a little bit. Um, David is recommend. David Shearer is recommending that we wait until we know more about the building mm -hmm. permit and, and the process oh, before we so. do a uh, release. Yeah. I can draft one, and then it uh, can go out fairly quickly once we have that information. Mm -hmm. Um, so, you know, and, and then once the release is out, and we can start posting things on Facebook, we can start sending uh, emails out, stuff like that. So it sounds like, sounds like the, the sense is that we should hold off a little bit longer. Is that true? Okay. Yeah, and it's emphasizing volunteers work. <clears throat> work folks in that, mm -hmm. that we, you know, we need help with this. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, then, yeah, that's that, that part of the skill bank yeah. kind of thing, mm -hmm. too, I think. We're well, yeah. putting mm -hmm. it into the press release itself. So we're looking yeah, for exactly. help. We're looking for so, people yeah. to come yeah. in and join us in this effort. You know, yeah, like yep. and, and I thought of uh, part of the twist for the um, for the press release could be that you know that we're, we've talked we talked about recenter as as part of the the neat name of recenter is that we're uh, we want to recenter Northampton a little mm -hmm. bit around mm -hmm. the the old fashioned um, qualities of resourcefulness mm -hmm. and and um, waste not whatnot and waste not whatnot so we want to recenter you know how we deal with you know recenter the value of yes. thrift and, and resourcefulness. Norm ride the wave of our new designation as the number one community. Oh, yeah. Five right. star, yeah. yeah. That's right. Right. Go figure. Yeah. Yeah, that's great. Yes, yeah. Rob. So, uh, I'm wondering if because the reuse committee meets more often than than this committee, that you, you the recenter re committee, re the re committee yeah. meets more often than the reuse committee, that as soon as we, you hear some information from Ned, that maybe then we can start in the publicity because that's what I mm -hmm. think is our hold back mm -hmm. on, on that. And so I'm happy to delegate to the committee myself, but I, I don't know how other people feel about it. Delegate, what do you the, mean? Starting off on the publicity oh, as soon as we know a direction mm -hmm. that we're going mm -hmm. okay. because if we wait to meet again, that might delay it. Mm -hmm. Okay. Definitely. So that, that's just my thought. Seems good. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah. Right. Do we need to have a vote for that, or that just essentially? I think you're you're mm -hmm. suggesting yeah. that the working group can just go for it when when we get the green light. Yeah, in other and ways. if our graphics person is ready to go, then we can give her the stuff to go on that. And you're going to have other, yeah, okay, sure. Well, yeah. you can pass around, the, you know, alternatives if that makes you feel right, right. better. But I'm, you know, because I think this is a we don't want to wait another month. Sure, no, no. All right. sure. Yep. So people yep. agree to that. Yeah. yeah. Let that happen. Go for Great. Good for okay. Kate. Anything else then on that? So, so we're down to new business. Uh, next meeting is June nineteenth. Uh, I know I'm not going to. Well, that's the one we scheduled. Yeah. I won't be here. Okay. Who won't? Roger. I just said uh, new business. Oh, oh okay. So, so Rowan and do... John won't be here. Anyone else? Debbie, you said you. No, no, no. I'll be here. Oh, okay. Uh, I'll be here. Yeah. But you, you're looking for someone to. Take yeah, minutes. so so um, we we Ten now minutes. so John is now chairing the committee, 
we had agreed that we were going to just do three, um, you know, that, that, that when you sign on for taking minutes, that you would take minutes for three, three months and then you're, you would then proceed to chair for three months. And um, it's worked pretty much with uh, David and Jessica and John. We now need a successor that will take minutes for three months and then would be willing to chair. It, it really is not difficult to chair. Um, that being said, it, some people might not feel comfortable with it. And, and so we need to, um, I think Peter wanted to say something about that. Um, I'm very happy to volunteer for this group, doing lots of stuff, but clerical is not my forte. Uh -huh. <clears throat> and since it is required that we do have minutes, I mean, they're useful, but don't really go back and read them and reread them. I do. Good. <laughs> um, yeah, to check something, I do. Um, so could it not be that Deb Leisure, who's said it's okay if she's asked, be here permanently to take once a month minutes for a one hour meeting as she and others BJ I think does for others oh, whoever yeah we have to check with Ned yeah no we can't make that decision no. we, we right could ask okay I mean, well, I, I mean it, I don't it costs think Northampton money to to have someone sit in the meeting as opposed yeah. to having a volunteer right we're place. doing it for Northampton as much as anything I mean we've got this it's, going it's true but I mean I certainly don't have any issue taking minutes Right. Well, more but, but you can't. You've got but he can't. I mean, like part of the thing is we want to spread the, you know, yeah. not make it onerous for any one person. So, three months is not is not a huge amount of time. Um, we want to take turns doing it. You know, um, are you are you saying that you don't want to do it at all? I do not want to take minutes. And that's fine, Peter. I mean, there yeah. are other things that you contribute that right. are different. So that's fine. It's not my forte. It'll take yeah. me a week at home uh -huh. putting the minutes together. Okay. I mean, I, it's just not what I did. Okay. So, okay. So, so, so the question, so you're yeah. asking to be relieved of duty of the, the clerical piece. Yes. And, and so that, it, as long as the group is okay with that, I think that's fine, but we still need somebody to take care of minutes for the next three sessions. And, and potentially, and then go on to chair. I mean, if, if we have a small rotating group of minute takers and meeting leaders, I don't have an issue with that. That's not a problem. I mean, mm -hmm. if I, for instance, was taking minutes every, you know, what does that mean? Third time. Third. Yeah, I mean, I, I don't have every, an issue with that. And, and I will do it too. I, I don't mind taking minutes. Right. Oh, but we do need me. a, you know, we need a good four, four right. or five people who are, who are going to be in that loop. Yeah. Right. Well, I can be in that loop. I feel like I'm a little stretched at the moment. I okay. Don't, I, yeah. I don't that's want. How I'm not it, in, so. interested in jumping in right now. But I could I, if I have to. Okay. Just Peter. Okay. I, I had noticed uh, you very with your thumbs. I know how you do it. Practice you <laughs> when you're on the laptop. But <clears throat> Jessica too. But you can't participate as well yeah. in the discussion. That's right. And, well, and that I felt. I'm interrupting. Okay. I'm sorry. We're only having a meeting once a month, and I feel the folks here should have full capability of participating, mm -hmm. not being volunteering to do a clerical work, which I think, please do ask me, because mm -hmm. I think that I, I can't mind. endorse that. I, I just know that BJ and Anne Marie are just overwhelmed. Well, not with BJ, uh, uh, Deb Laser, she was quite happy to do it. I asked her, and so I mean, if we, that's I mean, okay. I can ask. There's no, you know, I can ask. Yeah, but I don't. You know, I don't think we should depend on it. Yeah. No, but I, 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 you know, it would be better I, for us to. There be are other things that I would like want to keep our requests for that I think are. Yeah, we can use Deb yeah. for a lot of other things. Yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. So at the moment we don't have someone for next. Well, so month. so um, and and then, uh, yeah, we don't have anyone. Jessica is um, is uh, kind of on hiatus at this point, but so we do need somebody that would chair after John and would take minutes. You know, the minutes don't have to be as extensive as we've been making them. Mm -hmm. So it really is, you know, you're in the driver's seat when it comes to minutes. If there's something that's missing that I think is critical, you know, we'll add it in. You know, it's not a problem. I'll, I'll do this, minutes this, June 19th. This wouldn't, this wouldn't June do 19th, I'll minutes. do minutes. But uh, so we can move on. Well, if I, I'm supposed to lead the meeting on June 19th, so I could take minutes for the next three months after June 19th. After June 19th. Right, because Diana's going to do okay, it on June 19th. And then you would do chair again and, after that? And then three months after that, I'll chair okay. again. Okay, so June 19th, um, Diana's going to do minutes. 
David is going to lead it because John's going to be out, and then after that, David will do minutes. And do we have a meeting date for after that? The July meeting. The third is it the third Wednesday? Is that what we're doing? Thursday. Third okay. Thursday. Generally. Yeah. So it would be July seventeenth. Okay. I'm going to be out for the June and meeting too. I just realized. Okay. But can we choose a different one since so many people are not? Is there a different here? June date that you guys? Is earlier June better? June is always tough. June and July. Well, but. but we can try. You. you want I mean, another, another date? How are you in June? Just not the 21st, which is a Saturday. Anyway, no, no, the 26th. <laughs> How about the 26th? I could do that. 26. Who else was going to miss? How about the 26th? I can do the 26th. I might be able to do that. Well, that sounds better. I don't, I don't that. have my, I don't, I need, the 12th? To, I need to look. It's the other, it's the yeah. other Thursday. Yeah, the 12th, I won't be here, but. Okay. You won't be here for the 12th? No. Mm -hmm. Well, right. No, but you know, there may be one person missing. Okay, you know what? Why don't I just send a doodle around? Yeah. yeah. I'll okay. send a doodle yeah. around yeah. Yeah. find find yeah. the best date. Okay. Okay. And then I uh -huh. think John Roger had mm -hmm. some new business. Yes. Roger, thank you. Uh yes. So I went to this event, which is yeah. pretty cool. It's a uh it's an or I don't know how tight an organization is, but they're all reuse artists. Uh -huh. Everything they had was was made done, done from found materials. Uh -huh. And so what do you think of like twenty? 25 I wasn't different. there. Oh, you go. I, 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 went I didn't hear about it. where I live, and I didn't even know that that's what it no, was. I didn't know. We were I just driving by. Looking forward to. Pulled off and, yeah. And uh, so they they did it for, uh, not last week and the weekend before, they did it for two days, and they're going to do it every Saturday. What also. did they do? At Jack's every Saturday. Yeah. At Jack's every yeah. Saturday. They're, they're booths. They're artists. They set up a booth. It's a little, little craft fair. Mm. Where is right. this? Uh, Captain Route Jack. 10, Route 10. Uh, right. Next Dolly to the new medical towards. center. So it's every Saturday? Yes, yeah, it's every Saturday. Oh, and cool. it's an East Hampton group? Or it's it's a an East Hampton group. They have a web page, Loop okay. Pop Up, L O O P P O T U P. Oh. Related to what? A Facebook to page, a Facebook page. I'm sorry. Is it related to NAC or not? No. Okay. But NAC has made comments on their Facebook page. Mm -hmm. But uh, it got me thinking uh, on our Facebook page. I mean, we could. Create sure. links to other businesses, oh, yeah. especially this. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You can't really do links, but you can do you can do posts with links. Yes, there you go. Do yes. a post with a link, but uh, <coughs> maybe wonder if you know, some of these pages have you know sidebars where they have different businesses. Right. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I don't know if this would be an income thing for us or not. So for business, maybe we could have yeah. different fees for. Uh, uh -huh. No, but then it gets into a whole bigger issue of what constitutes a reuse business. I mean, this is pretty obvious. Yeah. But there's some that right. might say would be reused, but it might be 5%. Right. So I right. could segue to Pandora's thing with that. Sure, Good. sure. Uh, so Susan was contacted by this woman named Pandora Redwind, who is starting a, an organization called the Play Workshop. And it's centered around creating an opportunity for kids in this area to participate in something called an adventure playground, which is a concept that started in Europe after World War II and is extensively done in Europe, much less so in this country, that involves kids creating their own playground with reused materials, yeah. you know, things like milk crates and boards and um, pieces of fabric and, uh, you know, basically you go into a space and you give kids these things and then they construct you know with with adults there's people are adults are trained mm -hmm. to be there without directing the play but to make sure everybody's playing safe and encourage and it's it's really all about creative reuse it's about kids learning to use their imagination mm -hmm. and um it, it kind of coming out of this there was a big article in the atlantic monthly a few weeks ago oh, months ago so about uh, about childhood and how it's changed yeah. and kids are on screens all the time and they're doing adult directed activities and they don't have that opportunity to create and imagine and use their imagination and play and um so there's kind of a buzz machine. Sorry. I'm trying to remember the author, Hannah Roisin, I think. So there's kind of a buzz around it right now, and she's gotten some approvals from the um, Northampton Recreation Department to do, to start with a couple of pop-up play events. Uh, she's going to do one at the Courthouse Lawn downtown and oh, one at Look cool. Park. And so, uh, and she's, so I met with her, and she's got a lot of energy, and she seems very well organized, and so we talked about putting a link uh, mm -hmm. or, you know, 
a Facebook link to her, and she mm -hmm. has a wish list too of of things that she wants to reuse that she can put in bins. It's mm -hmm. too bad that she just missed the bulky rigid plastic mm -hmm. event, but I've told her about that. But at any rate, so she looks like her mission is really close to what we're doing. Um, so. I think it would be a great addition mm -hmm. to the Facebook page. I'm yeah. thinking too, as as we're talking about this, because there's so many other kind of projects similar to this that are related to our mission, mm -hmm. that we should probably just create a page off of the DPW page. We we have a tab now about reuse, and then we talk about the reuse committee. But I think that it would be fairly simple to have a link to just a reuse page about the reuse committee and an affiliated That'd kind of uh, project. Yeah, that's that's cool. yeah. Good. Yeah, we can do that. Right. Right. It's the wider reuniverse. That's yeah. right. <laughs> right. Reuniverse. Re re right. Right. Whatever. Okay. Other new business. Um, I was also just going to uh, report very briefly on this thing that we did with another business, helping another business clean out, oh, right. which was oh, right. with the former Commonwealth Opera, uh, Carrie Knapp, her dad Richard Rescia was one of the people involved in the Commonwealth Opera. They're defunct, they had a bunch of office equipment. So last Friday, uh, Diana with her pickup truck, David with his van, I, we met with Carrie, we loaded up a bunch of stuff to use for the reuse center, uh, for the swap shop. Diana's got some in her barn, I've got some in my garage. Hmm. We got good stuff, and then there was stuff left over, and I put an ad up on uh, Craigslist, the free area, and the rest of the stuff was gone in less than 24 hours, wow. and she was really happy. Yeah. Uh, That's great. So, win, 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 you yeah. know? Again. Absolutely. So, so it's, it's yeah. almost like we're, we're starting already to become a clearinghouse for totally. this kind of thing. Mac is. It's really great. Well, Mac <laughs> and I did that big, um, that big clean out at the, at oh, the Poly the Street. Right? Yeah, yeah. Too, so that was... Yeah. That's yeah. great. Okay. okay. Anything else? <clears throat> well, just to come, that's how I think we will evolve. Like, somebody will come in with a wish list. We'll figure out how, how to get stuff to them, et cetera, et cetera. I think this reuse page linked to BPW is excellent, and I think history would be important to include on it, too. Previous events and, and including mm -hmm. events like this, because that shows... Yeah, yeah. Yes, it's a record. Yeah, legs. Yeah. 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 Um, yeah. And maybe inspiration I, for other events. Yeah. I got... I got notices from two entities. One's the Art Garden, who also has a wish list there in Shelburne Falls, and they do open art studio reuse, all great things, lots of community stuff. And also the bag share people I had oh. sent out. It's in my car. <laughs> an email. Oh, great. Okay. Because they have this new mission to collect a thousand bags for the Tuesday um, farmer's market. Because the farmer's market, people organize a hamp farmer's market, want to go bag bag free so they want all reusable so there's that and I sent it to Diana and Susan to post and I don't know because I'm just feel like such a you know, like, I don't know how to post um, so, but uh, what is the procedure for that I mean there are the also these two other organizations that are so aligned with us that you know the the posting is not hard I mean Diana and I can both do it uh -huh. that what the hardest part is is like composing the post because you want it to be something that's eye-catching etc so oh. whenever anyone sends us anything that they would like to post yeah. you know make sure we get a picture you know like like yeah. um, Mac we asked um, for stuff about this Pandora's Pandora's project mm -hmm. um, you know photos um, yeah. and information. We need basic information and, and some kind of photo, yeah. preferably something that's interesting and eye catching. Yeah. I think both and if, of if these those, if those can be given to us, yeah. it's fairly simple to do. Right. Do you have oh, I mean, you hung up, but I think yeah. you're better at it than I am. But, but. I was going to say, can we, I think I can post too, mm -hmm. and I post, but you guys can fix it up if you want. Is that okay? Um, is it possible to Yeah, you up? can edit it, but I don't know if you if other people can edit your posts. Uh, I can edit my post. Okay. Well, I don't know if 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 I can edit your post. Okay. All so right. well, if I'm not sure, I'll send it to you. Okay. Instead. Okay. One more. Uh, I'd just like to have us come up with a pretty simple set of guidelines. I mean, these all sound like great projects, but it'd be nice to know that 
you know, that this is a great project. Let's, oh, how let's to link evaluate. To this one. Yeah, how to evaluate. Uh, yeah, how to evaluate. Yeah, sure, sure. Uh -huh. yeah, Jim, just yeah. a fly eye quickly. <clears throat> I was uh, dumping my bottles at uh, Valley Recycling yesterday, and there's power people using their facility too. And oh, you yeah. had said we oh, have. Yeah. yeah. They've been using it all along. I didn't know that. Because I thought well, this had all the advantages, sure. that's why all the extra cost was for the composting. No, this, uh, the composting is probably what they do here. They, that, this is the only site they have for composting. So, uh, other uh, I have one last thing oh, okay. to say, and that's a, a recent Facebook post. I mean, you guys who, who aren't on Facebook can go look at our Facebook page. So, you can do that through the web. So I encourage you to periodically look at it. We, I just posted something that I found somewhere, uh, only in Northampton is a Facebook page that I had liked and they sent something. There's a, uh, one of our elementary schools is taking donations of metal utensils so that right. they can get rid of plastic yeah. stuff uh, at their school. Is it oh, Jackson, Jackson Street? Street? Yeah. So, um, so I wanted to announce this to the group and um, some great, you know, great use, reuse stuff is going on. Wow, great. Nice. And I am not a Facebook person, but I just sent out a, a link to almost everybody that I know on Facebook in Northampton to the, to our page, which uh -huh. I hadn't even thought of to do before, but it's, it's very simple. Great. So you've erased the agenda, but I believe adjourned was the last yes. thing. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, everybody. We'll be stuck here all night.